Hey guys, it's me and Bill. How are you guys doing? I hope everyone is fine. Um, last week was, as I said, it wasn't quite, it wasn't really a quite week. We had some stuff. We got it in King of Fighters 15, but we didn't have any, any kind of new information. So, this week I'm looking forward to some stuff. And I'm going to talk about in this video. First of all, I'm going to talk about things that I missed in the previous video. Things I didn't mention, which happened. And I, I don't know why I completely forgot those. And I also talk about what to expect from this week. Before I do that, a gentle reminder, obviously, to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I drop a new video. Now, here's the thing that I missed last week. Last week was we saw the release of the sixth chapter of the King of Fighters Gaiden, the the um, the origin of the flame, which is a manga focusing on Shingo, and it takes place after the King of Fighters 14. Well, specifically after the King of Fighters New Beginning manga by Azuma Kyotaro. And of course, the King of Fighters New Beginning manga was an adaptation of KOF 14. So, uh, in this story, Shingo is actually transported and sent back in time, and he's actually he met the ancestor of Kyo and Iori. And it's a pretty cool manga. And the sixth chapter, uh, basically continuing the story from the previous ones. I'm not going to spoil anything. There's some really cool stuff happening in there. And we actually, again, thanks to the uh, the efforts of uh, I'm gonna say his name correctly. I don't want to miss it. Rednecked Craig. Redneck. Rednecked Craig is actually translating this manga for us for free, and we can we can read it. So there's no official translation yet, unlike King of Fighters: New Beginning, which you definitely should check out. It's on Amazon. Please go ahead and buy it. It's a cool manga. So thanks to this really nice uh, person translator. We have the English version of this manga, and it actually is translated literally uh, within a day from its release in Japan. So, link is in the description below for the sixth chapter. Check it out; it's really cool. And you know, I, you know, I don't know about you guys, but having SNK greenlit and they, they're actually approving cha these chapters, f uh, focusing on Shingo right before the the release of the King of Fighters 15. I mean, and do you think that they will do that and Shingo is not going to end up in somewhere in that game? I don't think so. I think we're going to get Shingo. Probably not as, a, as you know, I, I don't think he's going to be in the base roster, but he's definitely going to be a DLC. Next thing that I missed last week and that I completely forgot about and I feel ashamed of that is that the Fatal Fury anime, the first one and the second one, the OVS basically, have been released on Blu-ray in a new 1080p transfer unlike anything we've seen before. This release is by Discotech Media, they're the same one who released the motion picture, the movie, which is the third chapter of the anime of Fatal Fury by Masami Obari. And it looked fantastic and they, they, they did it. They released for the first time the full HD, the high resolution version of the first OVAS, Fatal Fury 1 and Fatal Fury New Battle, which is the adaptation of Fatal Fury 2. I love those mangas, those animes so much. I had them in VHS back in the day when they just came out. I actually had my aunt who was living in France back then. She actually sent them to me. And boy, I watched that first and second one I, I, probably more than a hundred times, man. Like I would watch them sometimes every day. Every day I'll watch that thing, especially in the you know, summer vacation. Uh, vacation from school, I'll just keep watching and watching. I loved it so much. I would watch the anime, then right after I would put Fatal Fury 2 on my Sega Genesis and play the crap out of it. I, I love that anime, and, and I have the the DVD version, but this is the, this is the high definition one. It also is the complete one. I don't know if you remember this, but the second uh, in the second OVA there was a whole scene that was removed, which actually had um, uh, had Big Bear and Joe Higashi talking to each other before a match, and Cheng Sinzan being there. That scene was added as a bonus material for some reason. We have no it was never translated. I don't know what happened. It finally it's now being properly translated and it's actually put in the movies. And now the movie is coherent and you have all these scenes. So it's really the uncut version. Uh, I ordered my copy. Uh, obviously I live in Morocco, so it's gonna take a while before I get it. I will definitely be reviewing that thing. I love the Fate of Fury animes as, as you can tell. And with rumors going around that we get in a fourth anime. Uh, and probably a continuation of, of these ones. It's truly really important that I uh, that I watch these again in HD and talk about them. But yeah, go ahead and, and, and buy them. There's a link in the description. It's an affiliated link. So that actually is going to help the channel if you purchase uh, through that link. 
Now, these are the two things I forgot from last week. Now, let's talk about some cool things that happened this week. Dune, Dune was actually a professional player of King of Fighters and other fighting games, was obviously invited to the Tokyo Game Show King of Fighters 15 showcase. He's been uploading tons of videos and it's just awesome. You just see some really high play between these top players and it just made me love the game even more. Now, Dune has been uploading a lot of videos and a lot of them are in Japanese. You know, he's, he has some tutorials. He talked about the game in details, but it's all in Japanese. Now, luckily, Dune has been kind enough to actually start uploading things with English subtitles. In fact, he did upload the um, uh, sort of another tutorial, but he talked about Terry and Kyo in one video. And he said he's going to be uploading more videos, tutorials, talking about the system and everything about the game with English subtitles. So we're going to get some really detailed information about how these players thought about the game uh, and some details that we might have missed by just watching the videos of the gameplay, which which are tons. There are tons of videos now and matches that we can watch, which really, really happy that we can uh, do that. So I think that's that's really great. The last thing I want to talk about. So what are we going to expect this week from SNK from the King of Fighters 15? I do expect we're gonna get we're gonna get a new trailer, but who's it gonna be? And right now, whoever we're gonna get is someone we probably can't can't expect. So let's let's recap a little bit. The last three trailers we had Ash Crimson, we had Isla, and we had K Dash. Now we still have one team completely and revealed and, and announced and I don't think we're gonna get anything about that team there's a reason I think that team was kept last it has to be something special it has to be something special as much as I wanted it to be Ken's team there's no way that it's gonna be it it's something special that we keep in that team at the end we're probably gonna find out soon anyway so we whoever we're gonna get this week is gonna be one of these three teams right uh, and in all of them it's we don't know who's it gonna be, right? We don't know who's it gonna be. Uh, are we gonna go to the someone from Team Ash? Then who could it be? Uh, is Elizabeth in the game? Is 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 uh, is Kukri with uh, with Ash? We don't know yet, right? But it's probably I think Kukri is with Ash. We already had Kukri. We had Ash, and I think if we are completing that team and i think we're gonna i don't think they're gonna be juggling characters between three teams i think we're gonna complete the team this week and if that's the case it might be elizabeth and because she at the end of the king of fighters 14 she was actually with kukri and they, they, they found uh they found ash alive now we also have another not problematic but uh, another thing is that hyden is in the game he's in the cover but his we don't he, where is he gonna fit could he be with with k dash is Maxima in? There's some rumors going on that Angela, that uh, uh, Angel, uh, I call her Angel, Angel, and Kula are in the game, uh, according to some not leaked, but there was some some translations in the Chinese version and the Korean version actually of the King of Fighters 15 website, hinting that these two ladies, Ness ladies, are in the game. And if that's true, then they're probably going to be joining K Dash, and then we're going to have a new Nest team with K Dash, Cool, and Angel. And that leaves the last team, which we don't know anything about. Well, I mean, we know it's probably gonna be, the other newcomer is gonna be with, with Isla. I don't think we're gonna get her um, shown this early. We just had Isla a couple weeks ago. I don't think that's gonna be the case. And maybe the third character, maybe Hyden is with them somehow, or I, I don't really know. But I do think we're gonna complete uh, Team Ash this week. And I think it's Ash, Kukri, and hopefully Elizabeth. So we'll see. But those are my predictions. We're probably going to get a silhouette tomorrow night. So if that's the case, uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and try to guess, draw it again and see who that could be. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Looking forward to a week full of King of Fighters 15 news, of course. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And actually, I am almost done with the third episode of the history of Fatal Fury. If you haven't seen the first two episodes, please go ahead and check them out. I've worked really, really hard on these series, um, and uh, I'm trying to get the whole series finished before the end of the year because there's something special planned for next year, which I'm probably going to talk about in a video, maybe this week. We'll see. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave some comments, and until next time, you guys stay safe.